Good morning everybody. Today my day consists of this. I'm back in my mum's garage uh, sorting out stuff for my brother as he's now moved down. Uh, things uh, piled chaotically in a rush with no sense of order to how he would like it. So uh, I am on my Saturday in here going through boxes of stuff like random things like random things that I've got but my brother's is on a bigger scale and heavier scale so everything is made of metal because he's a more intense craftsperson than I am I guess um yeah we are yes climbing into the attic or into the rafters rather and um yeah and that's my life for today stuff Okay, Bobby, I fixed the contacts uh, and it does weird stuff now. So it's more than a battery fault. Uh, when you close it uh, and then try and turn it on, um, it says battery depleted, but it also tries to take photos, uh, clicks and shudders, and has a weird display on the top it's uh yeah it's not very well dude i think it's more than uh the contacts because there's a uh, um moisture stuff here i guess it's when it went in your flat and got damp the strap is uh moldy also uh i'll give it another go uh so i've got it on now uh, let's try and get the video. Oh, I'm not touching it, and it's taking photos. It's doing weird stuff. Can you see the display bulb? Can you hear that? Trying to do all kinds of stuff. Uh, trying to press the shutter button, nothing. Uh, and then it just comes up battery depleted. Uh, yeah, it's not a very well thing, dude. I think it's more than just the contacts. I finished another piece of terrain the other day. Uh, this is a hex bug track that we got given that we didn't have any hex bugs that worked for. These are till rolls. Um, the middle of till rolls that we chuck away at work. Um, this is a printer cartridge, bottle cap, pieces of a old toy kit. Um, I'm painting this up to be some sort of weird orb thing. We got a bicarbonate of soda tub. More of those toy bits, old toy airfix kit things at the top there. Yeah, and uh, just some gravel from the beach. Ooh, just some gravel from the beach down the road on the bottom. A bit of paint, a bit of dry brushing. That's really cool. Hello, everybody. It is Sunday, and uh, we got everything achieved that Bob needed doing. Uh, it was a mission of uh, help and brotherly love and support, and I was glad to be able to be there for him and give him a hand even though I'd kind of failed beforehand because uh, he told me there was a PC in the stuff or mama told me there was a PC in the stuff what they didn't tell me there was two PCs we uncovered the one PC and took that to my dad's in the dry blah 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 we didn't uncover the one that wasn't uncovered because we only assumed there was one PC um, and uh, so that thusly uh, has been in the garage for a while but we found it today, so that's good. We also rescued all his books and all the DVDs and CDs and media that he wanted to rescue, uh, and his tools, which he was worried about. Um, yeah, we had a good day yesterday uh, at Meatballs for lunch, which was delicious. My lip is still really swollen from the dog hair butter meat. Um, yeah, just thought I'd quickly show you that guy. Uh, nice, cool piece of terrain. Uh, really nice with this kind of big hex thing going on. Uh, which came from the hex bug uh, toy that was bust 
Uh, yeah, it looks really, really cool, I think. Anyway, it's going to very much do a good bit of battlefield scenery. I've uh, been working on this guy as well. Uh, this is a Baylor or, or, or Balrog, is the probably well, it's the closest thing that people will recognise uh, if they've watched Lord of the Rings. He is a big uh, fire demon stuff. I mostly just started, uh, got him based uh, by hand uh, and then just been tracing the, the musculature of him. And I just started today to do the yellow of his stomach, like the next layer of musculature colour which is to make him glow that kind of orangey fieriness in his mids there uh, and it's gonna look really cool when he's all done like that but at the moment he's kind of half done but he's a terrifying mini he really is quite uh, a beast or a devil he is a devil demon um, having a great fun painting him actually very enjoyable but it's gonna be a long job this one um, what else have we got on the painting pay? Uh, let me show you. So this is my uh, work in progress box here. Um, we got the rest of the the two other drow uh, from the Legend of Dritz box set. Uh, I've done one. Uh, it's done on over on my Instagram. Uh, these are very fine models. Don't even know if you can focus on them because they are so fine. Nope, nope, no way it's going to pick up that on this camera. Um, uh, they have very fine, like, uh, armor edges that are quite fiddly to do. And, um, yeah, they take a while well as well. Black on red again. Uh, so it makes the eyes go a bit crazy uh, when you're doing those colors. Um, they're cool. Uh, my... Uh, toy up paint uh, to make my frost dwarf giant or whatever he's going to be and uh, his base so his base is all kitted out with cool uh, rocky stuff um, he's blue he's dry blacked dry brushed and his skin base color is done um, I'm going to start filling him out a bit more with some other colors uh, later on and he's looking good uh, giant skeleton toy uh, that I'm going to turn into a mini as well uh, or use as a mini, not really turn into the only problem with him, he's on a balsa wood base and he's very thin so he doesn't have any weight to him and his halbard is almost tipping him over so I'm going to have to add some rocks and things to his base to uh, weigh him down a bit um, the rest is alleys and beans in here Apart from this, I found, well, I got given at work. Uh, my volunteer bought a load of little miniatures, and in it was this little gnome. Uh, he's uh, got a bit of damage to his face. Uh, maybe where he came off the sprue or something, I'm not sure. It's like he's been clipped off on his face. It's unfortunate. So, um, got to do a little bit of scalpel work with him to get him back, and I'm going to sit him on a mushroom or something I suppose because that's no me thing to do yeah uh, today is just a game a game today is just a day filled with uh, video editing I got up early at six started editing um, and then uh, yeah, the others didn't wake up to a lot later so I had a lot of time to myself uh, caught up on my Critical Role. I'm actually watching this season of Critical Role. Uh, I don't normally haven't caught up on the rest of the last lot of everything else. Too many episodes, I think. Um, and yeah, that's what we're doing today. I got my boys. We're out in the sunrise this morning. It's looking beautiful out here. It's even a frost this morning. So the first real frost I've been out in. It's not even a real frost, like the grass is a little crispy. And that is all. But uh, yeah, it's a beautiful morning. Uh, always are full of it because it's cold and fresh.
Okay. And then boys. He's up. The most beautiful sunrise. That way. Look that way. The most beautiful sunrise over this way. Here. Here we have a yellow moon. There is the most beautiful moonset today. Just There's the most beautiful moonset going on over there today. She is glorious. Massive and yellow. <laughs> 